Hey everyone, it's Terry Vanover, and I am a divorce strategist with choosing to through divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. But even more importantly, I help you to heal from toxic relationships so that you can transition confidently into that next phase of your life. So I do a lot of work with healing and forgiveness, and I have gotten a lot of pushback from this work that I do, especially forgiveness. For about what it is. Now, I believe that it's really, really, really important that you do the work that you need to do in order to heal from your divorce so that you don't next because once you've had one divorce, the chance of you having another divorce is 70%. So if you're in a step family and you are struggling and you've got kids, the, the extra stress, the overwhelm, feeling unappreciated as a stepmom, they are very, very, very likely to have a divorce. So, so I work with clients like stepmoms and people who are impacted by divorce so that they can learn how to navigate their relationships and heal from toxic relationships so that they can go on to have happy healthy relationships. One of the things I talk about is forgiveness. And I'm going to explain what forgiveness is and what it's not. And I'm going to clarify a couple things. And even what I have been teaching about forgiveness, actually. So I want to just start off by saying forgiveness is not about absolving anyone from anything. I'm not asking you to forget what someone did or let a toxic person back into your life. Forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for you. It's releasing the toxic and toxic emotions that someone gave to you. It's, it's letting go of that burden. You don't have to carry around the negativity that someone gave to you. You can let that go. It's giving yourself the conscious permission to let it go. It's not about absolving anyone. So, you know, I work with people pleasers and I work with my clients on putting up healthy boundaries. I'm the first one day when to, to, to put up healthy boundaries and, and when to make sure that, that we let the right people in us. So it is really important that you understand that forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. It's about releasing the burden that someone else gave to you, right? So look at it this way. If you were around, I'm that person. That, that's like saying, I carry around this, this negativity. I'm not going to let go. It's not her just hurting yourself. just want to start off by saying that. Something else that I have to is how caring and not giving creates distance. And I used myself as an example. So if you haven't seen the other video that I've given, please check it out. It's a great video on forgiveness. So when you don't feel holding on to those negative feelings, you're holding on to that anger and your bitterness and your resentment. And I've done it myself, right? I've been through some tough times and I knew something a couple of years ago where I had a family member that hurt us, betrayed us, and it was really hurtful, and I had to go through the whole process. And that's another thing I clarify. Forgiveness is part of a broader healing process. You don't just wake up one day and say, I'm feeling someone, and you just move on. It's part of a bigger process. But what I do know, and when I was ready, that of gifts, which is part of my healing process, is when how it's distance. It does create distance in those that you yourself. So my children were very aware that I was holding on to some anger. So if you think children don't sense that something's off or that you're carrying around this negativity, they do. They're very really in tune with us. So important that for me, as a mother, not to create that distance between my children and I. And I noticed that when, um, like I mentioned this person's name or they mentioned this person's name, you know, they look over at me to see like what my reaction was going to be because 
I hadn't fully forgiven. I was still carrying around this anger and I was creating distance. So I was having this conversation with a group of women and we were talking about forgiveness. And before I even got into the explanation, one woman had exclaimed, you know, about the distance. She goes, oh yeah, that distance, you're really keeping that person close to you. And an aha moment went off for me and I was like, Oh my gosh, yes, not only are you creating distance between those that you love and that you want to get close to you, but you are keeping someone toxic. You're keeping emotionally entangled with them. If you are holding on to the anger, holding on, you're, you're triggered by thinking about them, you are giving them power over you. You are emotionally entangled with them. So it's important to give them so they can create that distance, that you can let go and, and not be emotionally invested with them. And so that's another benefit of, of, letting go, of holding on to those feelings and how forgiveness can help you. So again, I just want to reiterate, like, it is part of a broader process and you have to get still with yourself and get in tune with your intuition so that you know when you're ready to forgive. It's part of a big process of, of becoming mindful, getting in tune with yourself, going through ups as well. And then that, I give my attempt. There is a specific step by step process that I give that takes you through what you need. It's like a guided forgiveness template. It kind of guides you through what you need to reflect on, what you need to think about, um, what feelings might be underlying that maybe you haven't explored yet. So it's part of a broader healing process. So listen, I understand. I was sexually abused when I was young. I had an alcoholic father who abandoned us. I was really and all those types of things that I brought that all up into my adulthood and and my marriage failed after just a few short years within a few short months i lost my marriage my home my mom my, my house was hit by a van the world fell apart in just a few short months i understand what is i go through trauma I understand what it's like to do to a dead time in your life and what it means to heal yourself from that, because I learned that I can do things to let go of those things and, and learn what needed to be done. And now I show other people how they can let go of their trauma, how they can heal toxic relationships in their lives so that they can go on and have healthy, happy relationships. And I know people how to more effectively and not make the mistakes that that hurt me so bad when I was going through divorce but even even better is how you love to create a relationship go of of the toxic patterns that you're holding on to so that you can create a better relationship so that you have a healthy marriage if you're a stepmom so you can go on and create a life that you want to find a healthy partner I have a great ex-husband and we co-parent together, but it wasn't easy. We had to go through a bunch of rough stuff to get to where we are, but I know what you need to do to get to that place so you can co-parent and support each other and build a really great family unit, though you're not, not anymore. I have a fantastic, beautiful, generous husband, and we've even grown our family and have more children together. So. I know that that anything is possible, so much is possible. So look, if you're struggling and you want to let go of some ongoing resistance, and reach out to me, I'm happy to have come and reflect with you and some minutes to your situation. So reach out to me if you have any questions, need anything. I'm Terry Van with Choosing to Rise, and I will see you next. Thanks so much. Have a great day.